Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been a little while. I haven't done one of these videos probably since the summer, but I thought I would do a little what I wore this week. All of these outfits are items from my own closet. I'm trying to wear as many of my items that I already own as I can and trying to figure out how to style them in different ways. So I'm just gonna be sharing that with you guys today. And I am still on my low buy year. I haven't shopped since January 1st. By the time this video goes up, it's February 18th. Um, I do have a video on that coming about all the rules that I've set for myself, things like that, like how I've come this far, basically from being a shopping addict, going from shopping like crazy to uh, no shopping at all. And I have a video about that coming up, but let's just see what I wore this week. So this is not, unfortunately, in real time. I kind of just took a tally of outfits that I wore this week and maybe some outfits that I'm planning to wear for next week. Um, Toronto's been really crazy in terms of the weather. It's been crazy snowing, it's been crazy cold, so ankles are not an option right now, showing your ankles, but some of these outfits might have some ankle in it because that's just what I prefer. So may not be the most practical for a Toronto winter, but I still think these outfits are super cute. So this is the first look that I have here. I think I've shown you these pants before. These are the Wilfred Essie pants. I showed them in my fall haul video. These are like a navy blue high-waisted pleated pant. They have like a straight leg kind of like cigarette style and I just paired them with my faux snakeskin boots from Zara. I have been obsessed with these ever since I got them. They're really comfortable. I got them in a size seven. They do fit true to size. I really like their like chisel you call this a chisel toe, an almond toe? It's almost like a Western kind of vibe to me. I feel like they just go with everything. I'm wearing like a very kind of neutral outfit, but this pop of brown, which is still like a darker brown, is fairly muted and I think it still matches. These pants I've been wearing quite a lot. I also have them in black. I love how high-waisted they are. They have this pleating down the front, which is super cute. And I just think these pants are really flattering and really great for work dressing up, dressing down. I would definitely wear this to work even with a leather jacket or you could pair a blazer if you're, you know, if you have to be a little bit more business as opposed to casual. I'm just wearing the Pima cotton stretch turtleneck from Everlane. This time I'm wearing a nude bra with it, so it's not as see-through as it would be if I was wearing a black bra. This is a fairly see-through top, so just be mindful of that. But with a nude bra, it's pretty good. It's really stretchy. I really like the mock neck and I just got this in white in a size Small. I don't know, I've been wearing this turtleneck basically with everything. It kind of gives me this like kind of 70s vibe. I really like a layered turtleneck that's sort of tighter. Um, it gives me like a retro vibe that I really, really like. And I just decided to throw on my faux leather jacket from Zara. I bought this in the fall. I've been wearing this constantly and I always get a ton of compliments on it when I do wear it. So I figured this would be a good work outfit um, if you throw on a blazer, but I just decided to edge it up a little bit with the leather jacket. That's just kind of my style, what I tend to do. And I just feel really cute. Okay, so this is outfit number two, definitely going a little bit more neutral and camel toned with this outfit. I would definitely wear this to work. And all of this that I'm wearing, you guys have seen before. So this is the turtleneck from Cotton, K-O-T-N, in the color Alabaster. So it's like a cream off-white turtleneck. This turtleneck is 100% cotton and it does have some stretch to it. Obviously, you can see it's like fairly bodycon, but it's the kind of stretch that doesn't bounce back. So to me, it actually feels like you'd stretch it out and then you have to wait until you wash it for it to give you back its original shape. So that I find is kind of a con when it comes to this turtleneck, but I love the color and I get so many compliments on it and it literally goes with everything. So that's something I'm willing to overlook. And cotton's really cool because it's like an ethical, sustainable brand and they donate a lot of their proceeds to uh, developing schools overseas, which is really cool. And they are Canadian, so support local, which I like. So this is like a really nice cream color. It's, it's definitely off-white, and this is in a size small, and I would definitely, I would almost size up in these turtlenecks just because it's very, like I prefer my turtlenecks to, or any of my tops to be able to have just like a little bit more room in the length of the torso. And I, this I find is very short. You can tuck it into high-waisted pants, but it even pops out the back sometimes. So that's how short the torso on this 
top is. I don't know if I have a particularly long torso, I don't think so, but that's one of the kind of main complaints for me with this top, but at the same time, I still love it and I've been wearing it constantly. And so you've seen this outfit before, I just paired them with the Wilfred Gelad pants. These are in the color camel. So if you can see what I mean, I don't know what to do with this like karate belt. A lot of times I do take it off, but at the same time, I think it adds a little bit of something extra. I really like these pants. I love the neutral camel tone to it. I think it's good for any time of year, especially in the winter time where everything's just gray and yuck and meh. I just like to wear kind of warmer tones. I just paired them again with these snakeskin Zara booties just because they aren't too loud and it still kind of gives an overall neutral tone to the outfit. I would definitely wear this to work. You could throw a blazer over top of this. You could throw a leather jacket over top or a camel coat and kind of go all monochromatic. But yeah, I really like this outfit. Okay, so outfit number three is definitely more on the rugged side. I'll start with the boots. So these are the new rain boot from Everlane. They were sent to me to try. And so far I have really been liking them. They are definitely more on the rugged, casual, everyday, I'm going hiking kind of vibe. I'm not a huge rain boot fan, but these don't remind me of like a rubber rain boot. They are a little bit more stylish. They really remind me of my Blundstones. They have the same feel, same style to them. I tend to wear on most days my Blundstones just because I do walk to work so I need like a good shoe to walk to work in and these are a good replacement because my Blundstones are brown and these are in black so I think these are just add a little bit more versatility to any outfit that I want to wear. And I'm just again wearing them with the cheeky ankle straight jeans from Everlane. These are really comfortable. I find that they do fit true to size so these are a size 24 and they fit really snug around the waist and they're really comfortable. They have a little bit of stretch, not too too much. They don't loosen up over time but I really like these jeans. I love the wash and I would definitely get them in other colors. And then I'm just wearing my cotton turtleneck again in alabaster. I just love like pairing a lighter cream. I'm just, I'm into the cream tones right now, I don't know. And then I just paired it with a new jacket from Everlane called the Chore Jacket. So it's like a really lightweight, boxier kind of jacket. So this is just meant to be like a really lightweight layering piece for springtime. I got this in a size small, this is in black. It's like a jean jacket kind of material. That's how it feels to me at least, but like on the thinner side, this still feels really heavy duty and durable, but just more of a thin, lightweight material. But I really like how this layers and I'm stoked to style this. So this is outfit number four. Honestly, there's really nothing new here in this outfits of the week video. This is really what I wear and what you guys have honestly seen before, but I just wanted to show you that I do repeat the items that I wear. I'm trying to mix and match as much as I can in my current wardrobe to make it as versatile as possible because I have so many clothes and a lot of things just get worn once and then wasted and it's really sad. So I am trying to use what I have and love what I have again this year. We'll just start from the top. These two necklaces are from Majuri. This is the boyfriend chain and the, the Leo or Lion. It's the Lion chain from their tarot collection from Majuri. Most of my jewelry is from Majuri. This is a Scorpio ring because my dog is a Scorpio, this is the boyfriend ring, and this is um, the Bumble pinky ring. So I'm underneath, I am just wearing my Anina Bing Viper tee. This is the tee that I got right before I stopped shopping for the year. And I love this t-shirt. It's like super vintage, super faded. I love the graphic print. It's very Pink Floyd Tron inspired. Anina Bing has amazing graphic tees, and I always want every single one that she comes out with. On top, I just threw on the Everlane oversized blazer. This is in a size zero. Normally I'm like a size two or an extra small in Zara and this fits me in a really nice oversized way. The shoulders are not too big. They're sitting properly, but the fit is still just loose and effortless, which I really like. And then I'm just wearing the Everlane cheeky ankle straight jeans and then the Zara booties. So this is like a typical everyday casual outfit. I would wear this on casual Friday at work. I would wear this going out with my girlfriends or going out on a date. If I wanted to look a little more rock and roll, I would throw on a leather jacket. That's just what I love about an outfit like this. You can literally wear it in so many different ways and it still looks a little edgy. It still looks cool and casual and effortless, which is like what I'm always trying to achieve. Okay, and this is the last outfit of the week. This is my attempt to wear mom jeans that are literally my mom's. These are my mom's old Levi's. They're kind of giving me this like bagginess type of thing right here. They're really high waisted and they're a little bit long so I'm still trying to figure out how to wear these jeans. I don't know if I should wear them with like a bodysuit and just like 
deal with the puffiness here. I see a lot of girls wearing like mom jeans that are thrifted, so they tend to be a little bit looser and that's kind of the look that I want, but I'm not really sure exactly how to pull it off because they get a little bit baggy here and I don't know how flattering that is, but I'm just trying to get used to it. So I'm just wearing it. I'm trying to be a little bit hipster, trying to be a little bit cool. It's a process to figure these things out. So with these jeans, I just threw on my Urban Outfitters Western inspired belt. They have these all the time and I love this belt. I think it just like edges up any outfit and just it's my only belt so it holds my pants up. This is a necklace that has my dog's name on it. And this is a lightweight crew neck sweater from 1920 New York. It's a really thin, really nice crew neck sweater and it's thin enough to tuck into jeans without being too bunchy. It's just a really cute, cozy sweater. I think with this color combination, I'm kind of going for like the Dwayne Johnson fanny pack 90s rock vibe which I actually really like I'm still just like not sure about how to style these jeans in a flattering way I'm not because this whole scenario is just like I like it I'm just getting used to it I don't know and then on top I just threw on my camel coat from Aritzia it's really oversized it's meant to fit oversized and I just love how long it is I do have a lot of camel coats but none that are this long and this like intentionally oversized so it still fits me properly where I'm not like swimming in it. It looks oversized but not in like a ridiculous or comical way. So this would be kind of like a weekend outfit or like going to brunch, super casual. Normally I carry around a backpack with me most times. Um, a couple of you guys asked me in my apartment tour video what that backpack was and it's by a brand called Reigns. But this bag I've been using since I got it. It's by Teddy Blake. It's 100% leather. They said they're made in Italy. It's like a high quality bag if you want like a decent dupe for a designer. I kind of get like Celine vibes a little bit from it. This is in a dark beige color. I think it just pairs really well with like a neutral outfit. If I was wearing all black, I think I would still really like this, but it's not too bulky for me. Normally I don't like, I just don't like carrying purses. I feel like I end up being very lopsided, but this one, has a lot of room, it has like a long shoulder strap. They did give me a discount code for you guys if you are interested in checking them out. So I'll have all that information down below, but this was sent to me and they're not paying me for any of this. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I think it's a really cute classic bag. And in terms of my low buy year, so I will have to be addressing my stance on receiving PR packages just because I am a blogger and I do get sent things. So I will be addressing that in my upcoming video. For now, I am focusing on being really selective with things that I think really complement my style and what I like. But again, there is no way Way, any obligation for you guys to be shopping any of this stuff so just keep that in mind I'm sharing with you guys just my style my outfit styling ideas but you don't need to shop for these exact things a lot of these things a lot of the elements in my wardrobe are super basic so you can find a lot of similar pieces to get the exact same look so I would encourage you to do that first before you go shopping for anything so that's it for my really quick what I wore this week video you guys let me know if you want to see more videos like this and I hope it gave you some ideas of how to style some outfits with items you probably already have in your closet to begin with. So leave this video a thumbs up if you want to see more, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Chica says bye too, right Chica? Good boy. You're so fluffy right now. <laughs>